Hello, Zip Strike Army! My name is Jacob, as always, also known as Mr. Nintendo Fan Man here on YouTube, and today, myself and a very special guest, why don't you introduce yourself? How's it going, everybody? This is Golden Bolt. His link to his channel will be in the description down below, so make sure you go subscribe to him, because on his channel, we just did our opinions and thoughts and ideas for the Alola starters of Poplio, Litten, and Rowlet. So make sure you go watch his video. That'll be in the description down below. But today's video, we're going to be talking about Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon is an homage to Pokemon Gold and Silver of Johto. Yeah, and I think that that's I think that's something that's there's a lot of evidence laying around, and I think it's something that can definitely be proven given what we're going to talk to you guys about. There's a lot of little things. There's a lot of little things in there that I think prove that that's that's uh, the case, especially considering um, what happened in the past generation. Where do you want to start then? I think let's take a look at the lay of the land. Let's take a look at what you mentioned. In uh, we can start very simply um, with uh, with the gardens, maybe. Yes, exactly. So, essentially, Parfum Palace, and we obviously, if you're coming over from Golden Lone's video after watching his video first and then coming over here, I'm not sure what order you guys are watching these videos in. Uh, basically, in the Parfum Palace garden area, there are four garden-type things. So, basically, you have the top left, which is on a we-don't-know-what-it-is. We're going to get into that in just a minute. We have the top right, which is Soul Rock, which is very funny now that we know what we know about Pokemon Sun being a Soul Rock <laughs> Sun. It's going to make a watch out. Yeah, I mean, that's almost unavoidable at this point. I'd be disappointed if that wasn't the case. The bottom left is Chandelure. The bottom right is Pyroar, male version of Pyroar. So basically people do not know what the top left is. Some speculate it's... And Tay, where I think it's Sogaleo, because in uh, Golden Bolt actually made a good point. He kind of is like, it kind of looks like the mains popping out, kind of. Like, we'll put an, I'll put an image up whenever we're talking about this so everyone can understand exactly, you know, what we're talking about when we're talking about it. Mm -hmm. But, I yeah. think I think, yeah, definitely could be at least some kind of, like, Easter egg. Here's like, what, yeah, Easter egg. Think like, about here's it. What <laughs> something might look like soon like they might not have had a finalized version of it but like huh when you look at that though like why like it's just a solid easter egg just like in anastar city by the sundial you see seven islands in the background hawaii like they this is honestly like x and y to sun and moon is basically going to be red and blue to gold and silver it just makes so much sense how they're gonna the continuity in these two games in these series are just gonna be amazing it's gonna be really incredible it's just I, I can't determine whether it's gonna take place in the past or the future maybe in Pokemon Sun it'll take place in the past and maybe in Pokemon Moon this will take place in the future or vice versa that could even that could even have something to do with some sort of day and night cycle like there could be because you know of course and oh I didn't even think about this and we were talking about this before but I want to point out if this is supposed to be an homage to gold and silver remember that those games introduced day and night into the overall like gameplay like that was the first time we could play like you'd be walking around towns at night first time you'd be walking around towns at day and it would be different because we had poke gear and all that and this time we have a specific like this is sun this is moon it's like okay day and night it's another John, what right would back. be really cool is um if per se in the games they didn't have just night like you had like Pokemon Sun, you only could play in the night. In Pokemon, like like it was always dark in the game, and like in Pokemon Sun, it was always light in the game. <laughs> that would be that would be funny, but I'd almost be like, I, I don't think they right. do it, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, that would you'd really have to get both games then. <laughs> yeah, you really would. But like, I can imagine that a lot of things are gonna change when the day and night cycle kicks in more than anything we've probably seen before. Maybe access to different areas, things like that. It um, would make sense. Like it would, I, I would. I guess just based on the like, it would. It just makes total sense because we were talking about the garden before. So basically, I think like the Kalos and the Alola region are going to mirror each other. So basically, um, 
there's going to be a palace in the Alola region. Um, I was looking at Hawaii. There's this thing called the Ailani Palace, which looks very similar in a way to the palace we got in the first trailer a couple months ago. Like three months that, ago. It looks kind of similar if you really look at it. Yeah, and that makes sense because Parfum Palace isn't a shot-for-shot shot, like remake of Versailles, but it's definitely an homage to it. And so it would be just make perfect sense for them to put a a landmark like that from Hawaii into the Alola region because that's thing they're becoming a lot <laughs> they're becoming a little less subtle about where the regions are based nowadays. Yeah, Especially like, like hey, knew, this is France. <laughs> like you knew it was France. You knew what it was like based on New York, right? And, uh, yeah. You know what was yeah, and it just makes sense. Like all this, obviously the first four are based on places in Japan. Mm hmm. But it's I, I like what they're doing now because they're making it like a lot more like they're really, really giving detail to all these places now. Like you can really tell what all these places are it's just it's so nice. Yeah, and it's really like you really get a different sort of vibe to it because like you, you look at you look at the footage we've seen from Sun and Moon and you're like, wow, like even the way the characters appear and you just see the guy running up the hill and the palm trees, it's like there's a certain welcome, like, uh, there's a certain air about being there. You're like, yeah, I'm definitely in a different place than I was in X and Y. Where that didn't really, and really couldn't exist back in the day with, um, say, like, first three generations or things like that. Because we were so limited on technology and all of that. But, like, so, of course, you had to kind of use your imagination. But this time around, every single game feels so distinctly different. But, yeah, uh, like, I, they tried yeah. their best. Like, they, when they implemented the Ruby and Sapphire into the 3DS engine, like, there's only so much you can do with it without, like, changing it. Right, exactly. Like, you couldn't completely transform Hoenn into something it's not. You, they made where you flew on Latias or Latios. We, that was really cool. I like that. Yeah. But speaking I love that of, of, like, um, mirroring each other, so how they have a sundial in Anastar City, there'll be some city in... X or in um, Sun and Moon, where there's like a moon dial where you'll go to that. It just makes sense. Yeah, and I, I think that would be really cool because, like, in the other games, when we transfer back in between um, those kind of like different areas, you had to take a train or like all these new evolving technologies that were happening, like in the 90s or whatever. But we're looking at Hawaii, which is like traditionally, if you look at their history, very rit ritualistic very spiritual, that sort of thing. So if we're looking at some, things like a sundial or like transporting in a very spiritual, ritualistic way, I think that ties in with what we're, we're to expect from the region itself, as well as a nice little nod to the way we traveled back and forth between, go, between Gen 2 and Gen 1. Yeah, and obviously Hoopa ties into that perfectly because it can transport things, hence and like it transported legends to Hoenn. Exactly, exactly. With the moon rings and stuff, it just... Or not moon rings, just, like, it's rings. Like, it just makes sense that that's the Pokemon that'll transport you from place to place. And it just makes sense. And since we got... I think they purposely did this, and they gave us Megas for the Kanto starters and X and Y. I feel they're gonna... It's gonna be kind of like that, where you'll get the Johto starters, and then they're, they're gonna get Mega Evolutions and Sun and Moon. Mm -hmm. Just, like... Obviously, X and Y is like, oh, it's like a brand new start. It had like so many similar similarities to uh, Kanto. Like, the Sa Santa Loon Forest was very, well, it was the Viridian Forest. It actually was, like, layout and everything. The way the whole layout was, it's exactly Viridian Forest. I mean, it just makes complete sense that they did it that way. Just like uh, Sun and Moon will have something like that. I don't know, what would they have? Would they have the Ilex Forest or something? They could, but um, I think a lot of the connections there almost lie in with the legendary Pokemon that we're seeing. Yeah, like Sogaleo is Ho-Oh, Lunala is Lugio, Lugio, <laughs> Lugia. <laughs> <laughs> Just like they're, like obviously Sogaleo's not going to be a fire flying, but it's for sure fire. Yeah, and I'm sure that both of these Pokemon are ancient, like most <laughs> legendaries have been. And uh, as Ho Oh and Lugia once were. And uh, if you look at their presumed typings as well, even, I mean, his name is Solgaleo. Look at him. He looks like, and, like Entei and Reshiram had a baby, which screams fire type. I think that's almost unavoidable. But not dragon. No way. <laughs> There's no way. I hope a dragon. Not. If they somehow make Solgaleo a dragon, I'd be like, 
Game Freak. How? Why? Because! <laughs> Maybe we'll just go back to those days where not every Pokemon had a dual typing and Solgaleo is purely a fire type. Wouldn't that be a little nice? We haven't had something like that yeah, in a while. Yeah, but it could also be like a fire fairy, whereas Lunala could be like a psychic fairy. I see, I see Lunala, um, just like, what a cool design for a Pokemon too. Like, just a giant, like, legendary bat Pokemon. Like, that's, that's pretty original right there. But, uh, definitely a psychic type. I don't think you can really say much about that. Possibly psychic dark, which would make it a very, very good Pokemon. Uh, but I don't know. Because it does have that moon thing to it. Makes me think night, makes me think dark. But it does have wings and it does fly, so who knows. I mean, it also could be like, uh... Uh, dark water, yeah, dark water type. Water seems very out of this world, but like you haven't seen enough of it, and I feel like it's like a dark moon, a dark moon. Like it would have water, so water can counteract Sogaleo's, uh fire, whereas Sogaleo has fire fairy, which fairy can counteract the darkness of Lunala. That would be that would be pretty cool. I would love to see. I'd lo I'd actually really love to see something like that. Like maybe the evil organization, <coughs> Team Flare, <coughs> Team Flare. <laughs> uh, I think Team Flare, or there could be like a a counteracting team, like something like like that. That's like Team Flare. Maybe Team Flare is like gonna be called something different. Like maybe yeah. one's trying to have it pure sunlight the entire time, and one's trying to have like pure darkness. Yeah, and if we're looking at how, if we're uh, still calling back to Gold and Silver, which the main bad guys in that game were also Team Rocket, I think <laughs> Team Flare will have to be back. I think Team Flare is just going to be back, and they're going to try to look for Lysander like they looked for Giovanni, because there's been uh, theories where Lysander's still alive, or Lysandre, or whatever, however you want to pronounce I think he, I think his name is pronounced like Lysandre. Lysandre I'm not sure. would make sense. I, I say Lysander, just because I like the name better. That's how, that's what I would say too, but I was like, I don't really know. <laughs> whatever, you can, I, it's teach your own really. You can call things whatever they want to be. You can say, that's like, it's like Arceus or Arceus. It's Ar like, I've heard people call it both. Right, yeah. So it just makes sense. And just like in in X and Y, they had the legendary birds. So in Sun and Moon, you'll have the legendary dogs. Yeah. It just makes sense. I think they did all of those purposely because they were already planning the next games three years ago. Because obviously, I think Game Freak's just trying to up their Annie, up the, their game. Just trying to think like in advance like to maintain continuity continuity between games now and they're just going to be thinking of all this in advance yeah no, i totally agree with you i also think um and i think we may or may have not mentioned this um briefly before but i think that in terms of the legendaries that will also appear if we're saying the legendary dogs will also appear i'm saying you'll see how and lugia um representing this game as well possibly i don't know if it would be a story purpose or an after game purpose but i think the opposite so I'm I and, and judging by a lot of the a lot of the instances in the past where that tends to happen where they throw in the opposite legendary for the version you're in, mm -hmm. I think Pokemon Sun will see Lugia and I think Pokemon Moon will see Ho Oh. I don't necessarily think that it could happen. I think we're more apt to just have limited legends. But then again, if we go to Kalos, it wouldn't make sense. I think we'll probably get all the legends, but it all it all depends really on stuff. I think we're gonna be limited on legends still. I only think we're gonna get to three legendary dogs, maybe the three legendary birds, uh, Xerneas, Evil Till, Zygarde, the two new legends. Uh, obviously Magiana, because I think that's gonna fit into the after game story with Kalos, because that's what's been locked up. Because they have to lock up a man main Pokemon because it's so powerful. Kind of like they did with Mewtwo. Yeah, look at its typing like you like uh, we talked about before. Magiana's sitting there at a steel and fairy type. Yeah, just so powerful. That's kinda, it, it's got that's the best up, typing yeah. in the game because it's weak to... It has so many resistances being a steel and fairy type. And it's got two weaknesses being fire and ground. That's it. Which yeah. is crazy. <laughs> it's like... That's a, so. There's something with that Pokemon, man. There's a reason that thing is locked up. 
Yeah, it would just make sense. Um, I just... These are probably... That might be jumping the gun a little bit, but... If I were a betting man, I'm not saying I am, but I think these are gonna overtake Gold Silver, like Star Gold Soul Silver, as my favorite Pokemon games of all time. And that would be, I'm glad you said that because Heart Gold and Soul Silver are also my favorite. Yeah, and it's just like, and it's a lot of people's favorites that I've like seen, like a lot of people's opinions. Heart Gold Soul Silver, period. Like, I feel like these games are gonna overtake it. I think they're gonna be that. Amazing, the, the continuity between these this and Cal like, I, I I think this is like Pokemon, this boom like, these are the games these are gonna set this new standards the way Heart Gold Soul Silver did. Yeah, I completely agree. And when you look at, um, it's just there's a simplistic thing about Sun and Moon too, where X and Y, nothing against it, but I mean that's stretch that's stretching it a little bit for versions I think. Um, there are a lot of very concrete things for the version differences. Black and white, ruby, sapphire, like, they're very, like, they're things you can tangibly, like, understand. X and Y is, like, red and blue, because, I mean, even look at the color scheme on the boxes. This is sun, moon, you know what to expect. There's, like, there's something that obviously is going to happen differently there, and gold, silver had a lot of sun, moon references, like, references to night and day, things like that. I think that this is... That this is going to be one of those, one of those games to, like you were saying, kind of shake the foundation of what we're used to. Exactly, just like Heart Gold Soul Silver set a standard, this will set a standard for all future Pokemon games. So after this game, Game Freak, you're gonna have to like really step up your game. Like these are gonna be like the expectations are gonna be high after this one, guys. Yeah, I completely agree with you, and it's just like you can only be excited for it. You can only be con like, like, continuously excited. Like, I can't talk about anything negative about it because I can't find anything negative about it. Like, and I'm usually an optimistic person. I I don't usually find the bad in anything. I usually just focus on the good just because that's kind of how I am. But it makes sense. It just really does. Yeah. And I, just, uh... No, you go ahead. Sorry. Sorry, I was going to say something I saw in the... This is going to be for a different video. I don't want to say it now. I'll tell you after the video. <laughs> I'll have to make another <laughs> video a after this video because otherwise we're going to just keep going on. Yeah, there's so much to say. So much to say about like this and the region and what we want out of it. It's like the islands even give me a little call to like... A little nod to the Sevi Islands, even that sort of thing. Because especially, you know, you're talking about Seven Islands and all of that before. It's like, I don't think that necessarily has to do with it. But, I mean, look at the sort of, like, Easter eggs we were talking about, even. Like you were saying, there's, uh, in the other palace uh, that are in, uh, that may or may not be in Sun or Moon. We're probably seeing the reversal of, like, hedge mazes. We're seeing Lunatone. We're seeing, I don't know what we'd see in Pyro there or, like, Chandelure. But all four of those Pokemon, presumably, at Par from pa Palace are all, uh... Lunala will be sun. in the top left, probably, then. And we have Lunatone. Yeah. So I'm not really Ooh. sure, like, what other types, what other thing we would get, but... I don't know. Like, there's not, like, Pyroar and... Is there another, like, a lion Pokemon? Mm, not, not that I know of. No, I can't... Yeah, I guess it's not that important, but, like, there's gonna be, like, a, on the bottom row, it's gonna be either, like, a, another Pokemon instead of Chandelure and Pyroar, so... Like, maybe we're going to make a Pyro or make a Chandelure. I don't know. I don't know. Something definitely calling into that, call, giving you a reference to Parfum Palace for sure, though. Yeah, I think we've pretty much covered everything that we wanted to talk about, maybe? I don't know. Like, we're getting down to the nitty-gritty. Yeah, I mean, and a lot of this is, of course, ladies and gentlemen, always up in the air, always up for interpretation. And, and it's always nice to see what you guys think as well. Yeah, so make sure in the comments down below to leave your thoughts, theories, ideas, just anything in the... Uh, did I say description? It might comments down below if I didn't say comments. <laughs> but, like, it's just going to be really, really similar. Like, it's going to be... It just makes sense. It just makes sense to me. And which will be... I think it'll be a welcome addition. Well, they all... Every game, of course, is a welcome addition, but there's something about... Uh, Sun and Moon that I think is going to welcome a lot of uh, people back to the games who maybe have not played in a while. Why would you stop playing Pokemon? That's a sin. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't it say is, that. This, one, this game's going to prove it, man. This is going to be the one. And by no means, anything that we said in this video is not fact. 
It's simply yeah. theory. <laughs> yeah, of course. Things that and... we've just noticed about the said games that it just resemble certain ones of the Johto games. Yeah, and things, of course, that we hope will end up happening as well. Exactly. So, by no means, no facts, just Siri. And we'd love to hear yours in the comments like we just said. So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen of Strike Army, if you guys could, please electrify that like button. Like a Zipstrike a wood, Zipstrike army of the Thundercloud. Because that's what Golden Bolt calls his viewers, and he's probably going to start calling them that from now on, right? Yeah, I guess I am. I it was presented to me. Boom! I was really into that. Yeah, there it goes. This is how it started, everybody. Come back to this one. Boom shakalaka. So there we have it, Zipstrike army. Have a great day, and we love you all very much. Adios, Zipstrike army. We will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.